Hey, good morning, everybody. Jim Hoffman here, pastor at St. John's United Methodist Church. It is time for our daily devotion here on this beautiful Wednesday. So come and join me, if you would, please, as we take a few moments just to center into God's Word and a devotion time. As you um, join this live event on Facebook, if you want to leave a quick comment and let me know that you're present, that would be great. Would appreciate knowing that you are here. I'll say good morning to you as you do that, by the way. If you watch this a little bit later on, would you also leave us a comment? That just tells us who comes and watches the devotion, so would appreciate you doing that. Hi, Stacy. Good morning to you. Morning, Mr. Dunbar. I see that you're watching as well. I'm just watching to see who all might uh, be joining us. Hi, Jack. Good morning to you and Pat from Western Kansas. <laughs> On your way out to do a little skiing, I think, if I remember correctly. Enjoy your time away. Our Bible um, verses today are out of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17, I believe. 10 to 17, yes. Ephesians chapter 6, so if you want to find that. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. Just keeping an eye out to see if anybody else leaves a quick comment. Hi, Barbara. Good morning to you. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17 is our scripture reading for today. Okay, let's begin with our prayer of illumination. O oh God, by your spoken word, you created everything that is. By your incarnate word, you redeemed us. By your comforting word, you are with us still. Prepare us now to hear your word to us this day. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. Finally, be strengthened by the Lord and put his and, and his powerful strength. Put on God's armor so that you can make a stand against the tricks of the devil. We aren't fighting against human enemies, but against rulers, authorities, forces of cosmic darkness, and spiritual powers of evil in the heavens. Therefore, pick up the full armor of God so that you can stand your ground on the evil day and, and after you have done everything possible to still stand. So stand with the belt of truth around your waist, justice as your breastplate, and put shoes on your feet so that you are ready to spread the good news of peace. Above all, carry the shield of faith, so that you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's Word. Our devotion writer today is Deepika Emmanuel Sager from India. And focus verse is verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Let's uh, hear the devotion for today. I have a terrace garden with a lot of potted plants. Each plant blooms in its own season. We all like to see beautiful things, so we showcase the best of what we have. 
I am always moving my plants around so that those with blooming flowers are visible. Those with no flowers are kept aside, though not discarded because God has a season for everything to be beautiful. The seasons of our lives often bring their own kind of dormancy, situations and circumstances that are not very pretty. What do we do then? When we pass through such difficult times, what do we showcase? Is it our difficulties or the strength of the Lord backing us up? Jesus promises in Scripture never to leave or forsake us. Our perspective matters. Focusing on the security God offers rather than on struggle brings beauty to an otherwise ugly situation. While we will sometimes falter as we seek God's strength, it's not about losing strength. It's about trusting that God has the power to revive us again and again. Let's showcase the strength of God's Spirit so that the Spirit is able to bring renewed life in and through us. Thought for the day is, in difficult times, I will stay focused on the strength of the Lord. I, uh, I remember years and years ago, a friend of mine named Jeff, he and I were... Um, out roaming around, doing some different things on the island of Crete, but there, there's a there's a bay, and off the bay, um, in 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 the bay area was a small little island that had little buildings on it. And one time it had been an island for lepers, uh, but now it was just kind of like there for people to be able to take a little dinghy or something like that and swim out to. He and I decided to take like a raft and swim out there. It didn't look like it was that far. It was pretty far. <laughs> and honestly, if I had tried to swim that all on my own, even though I was 23 at the time, 22 or 23 at the time, if I had tried, there are just times where we need someone to help us. Often, if you think about it, 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 it seems like we get to the point where we are at maybe the end of our rope on some things. We've tried everything that we can possibly think of. We have prayed over it. We have put all the maximum effort into it. We've devised plans and schemes, all these things. And then we come to the end. And we come to a season where we are worn out and tired, where we come to the point that we're breaking down, where we come to the point that we're losing hope and faith. And that's the moment maybe where we really need to lean on the partner, which is the Holy Spirit, and take a moment to just pause and breathe and say, God, in these difficult times, may your spirit just give me strength. And in that, feel the renewal of God. I wish we could learn to do that much earlier in circumstances and situations, but, but I'm not sure that we humans are quite inclined to that, considering we think we can fix nearly everything on our own. But maybe that's the lesson that we really ought to take out of this, is rather than getting to the end of our rope, before we ever start tugging on it, we ought to be asking for God's strength and power to walk with us and journey with us and carry us through these difficult seasons and moments. That way, when we come to the end of it, we might not be burned out and tired. Rather, we might be encouraged that even though we've tried everything, we've tried it with the power of the Spirit. And even though things may work out or may not work out, um, we know that we have given it all because the strength of the Lord has been with us that whole time. So think about what it means for you maybe to, to just kind of look at the circumstances you find yourself in today. And are there some things that you're struggling with that you're, you're journeying through at the moment and you need some strength? And maybe this is a moment to just simply pause and pray. Or maybe there's some things that you know that are coming up in the very near future for you, and, and they're going to be a struggle. That, that journey that you're going to have to go through is going to be really hard. It's going to take a lot from you. And maybe now you start to pray. You begin your prayer now. Lord, give me the strength and the power to make it through. Walk with me. Journey with me. May I be able to rely upon you. And in the moments where I feel weak and tired, revive me with your spirit. 
begin that prayer now. There's nothing, I don't think there's anything that says that you can't pray early. There's no such thing as, as being too preemptive in your prayers or, or beginning your prayer time too early on some things. Begin now and pray that God be with you. So let's take a moment and pause and let's pray. Oh, dear Lord, we ask that you give us strength so that we will remain grounded in you. Live in us so that we can show your beauty and love to the world around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, friends, for being here today. Joy to see all of you. Come and join us tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come and join us tomorrow for our devotion time. Uh, we'll look forward to being with you at this time. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Wednesday. God's rich grace and peace be with you. Hey, and thanks everybody for that showed up a little bit later that I didn't get to mention, by the way. Uh, Marcella, good to see you. Hi, Barbara and Chris, glad you are here. Ruth, glad you made it as well. For those that might watch this later, again, leave a quick comment. Let us know that you are here. It would be great to know that. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing you all soon. Peace be with you.